It's incredibly difficult to make consistent looking AI images using the text to image makers like Dolly 3. You're trying to create a character and have that character look the same from frame to frame. Now it even gets harder when you have several characters and you're trying to get them all in the same frame and then you're having them do another task or another illustration and the consistency is very difficult. Now it's difficult, but it's not impossible. And I'm going to show you that how it can be done. I'm going to be working with Keith Hatswell. He's the CEO of Niagara Label. He and his wife own a couple of Airbnbs in Ellicottville. Now he went to one of my ChatGPT AI accelerator classes and used ChatGPT to write a children's book. And he tried to create images but ran into the problem of having a character that did not look the same from one frame to the next. Now I'm gonna show you the step-by-step. -step. Basically what we're gonna do here, it's a combination of using ChatGPT's Dolly 3 Image Maker, along with me creating my GPT consistent character chatbots. And then we're gonna overlay that on to Canva which has some really nice upgraded AI generative tools. All right, this is gonna be a two-part series. Now in the first half, I'm gonna show you the steps that we're taking and getting Keith's reaction to how things are going. I'm gonna end the second half with an actual step-by-step -step on how I did everything, including sharing the prompts that I used to create the consistent character my gpts so that if you want to be an illustrator an ai illustrator you can too so let's get started tell Perfect. me what tell me what you got going on yeah so my wife and i had this idea we have a couple airbnbs down in elgaville new york and uh we wanted to, you know, because we have a lot of families that stay with us. So we wanted to get a, a ski book or two for kids that they would read at night just to kind of have around the Airbnbs. And so we ordered one online, but we were kind of unimpressed uh, with the book itself. And so I remember taking a class with you, um, your seminar about AI. And of course, we use it at work here for writing different things. And um, I thought to myself, you know, we could probably write our own and just it'd be just as good, if not better. Uh, and I, th I think we were right. Uh, we wrote, you know, it's a very simple uh, kid's book. And um, so that's what we wanted to do. And when we went to illustrate it, we couldn't quite get the characters through AI to, to look consistent in the same. And I know you have a lot of experience with it. So I'm kind of coming to you to say, hey, you know, would you take this on as a project? Is that something that you could do for us? Right now, the generative AI is not there yet. It's hard enough to get one character to look the same doing different tasks from, you know, one illustration to the next. It even gets harder when you want to have several characters all looking the same, you know, doing different things. That's almost it's 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 very hard to do. Yeah. Um, now, there is a way that it can be done if you take several AI tools and you combine them. Um, but it's not easy right now, this. I'll go through this process with you and I'll kind of show you how to do it. But just to give you an idea of what we would be doing. So we'd be using, it would be a combination of using ChatGPT. Then I would create some MyGPTs, so sort of like chatbots that are going to focus specifically on creating a character doing different things, but looking as close to the same as possible. Um, and then I'm going to combine combine it with Canva. Canva has a lot of now generative AI components to it. So that's going to help. And then ultimately I'm going to overlay it. It's almost going to be like, like back in the day when uh, Disney would create the old movies and they would overlay one scene on top of another. It's kind of like what we will, will be doing now, just so you know, it's not going to be perfect. I mean, these images will look identical or close to identical, but they're not going to be exact. And so there is going to be a little bit of a differentiation between uh, the different illustrations. And um, I went to school for accounting. I'm not an illustrator, 
but with AI, you can be anybody, baby. So I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna do this for you. <laughs> Excellent. All right. All right. All right. About a week went by, and I created the first images of these characters. Keith gave me a lot of creative freedom to build these characters. So uh, this is gonna be Keith's first look at what these characters, as well as what the images are going to look like for this book. All right. Um, so Keith, I, uh, I had plenty of creative freedom here to uh, work on the characters. What I decided to do is I, uh, I created them in a, a Pixar style with uh, what, what we're calling a neon aura to it. Um, that typically is a, a format that works better with AI. So okay. I went with that and um and I created my GPTs and built uh, basically consistent character makers. Um, it's, first of all, hard enough to have a consistent character doing different tasks. Yeah. Really complicated things when you add more characters. And what I, what I learned from doing this is that when I add a second character, it stays relatively consistent. But then when I add, add a third and then a fourth, it gets really wonky and then it just loses character integrity. But what I decided that works best is having four separate my GPTs for each character and then having each uh, particular page illustration created with uh, Floor Fox first. And then I'm going to overlay the other characters using a prompt with a similar background. So then okay. uh, using the AI Canva. Uh, generative fill, I can fill in the, the difference. Okay, so mm -hmm. that's that's the approach I'm going to take. Now I uh, want to introduce to you the new characters. So four characters. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. Okay. <laughs> wow. How about that? Wow, that's great. Yeah, so meet uh, Danny Deer, Laura Fox, Sally Squirrel, and Benny Bear. Wow, that's really cool. Good. That's great. Good. Good. Yeah. Wow. I, uh, I didn't know you could illustrate. <laughs> like I said, I'm not an illustrator, but I am, an now. <laughs> <laughs> I am now with AI. Uh, <laughs> wow. That's really, really neat. Okay. Uh, but yeah, these are the characters. I'm going to continue to stay as consistent as possible as possible. Now, remember, yep. uh, it's not going to be so we're, we're balancing the the strength of AI with the weakness of AI. And these characters sure. may not look totally the same from one to the other, but I'll do my best to make them as identical as I can. Wow, that's great. Um, yeah, no, nope, I understand that. I'm looking forward to seeing how it evolves. Um I mean, obviously, in an ideal world, if these characters did stay consistent, I mean, you've already nailed it. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. <laughs> As I look at this, I'm pretty amazed. Um, you know, in my head, when I was originally thinking of this children's book, you know, I'm thinking anything from, uh, you know, like a watercolor simplicity thing to a, like a, a half sketch drawing. You know how you see some children's books that aren't like fully illustrated? It's almost like sort of a dream cloud where the, where the background sort of whisks away and you only see the foreground of the character. I had anything in mind from that to, to, I mean, I guess, I guess, I guess the good thing is I didn't have a lot of preconceived notions of what exactly it was supposed to look like. And when I just saw this, it blew me away. Yeah. Well, I'm glad to hear that just to show you what I'm doing here. Um, I'm going to shrink this a little bit. So I have the picture I created Flora and Sally are part of the original image. And then I overlaid Danny and Benny uh, after doing some generative fill so that then um, it looks like they're all part of the same, you know, background. Yeah. And uh, and that so that's pretty much how <laughs> I'm going to do that with all of them. Oh, it's great. I can't believe it. It's pretty it's pretty cool. You did a you did a good job. I'm really looking forward to this. This is like uh it's given me a I mean, I was very excited to move forward with it, but it's like a shot in the arm. I'm I'm really excited to keep this moving. This is great. Awesome. Well, here's so this is the easy part. 
right? And now it's a, a matter of me trying to remain as consistent as possible with these characters. Excellent. Thanks, Tony. I appreciate the, the effort, the work, and it's looking great so far. So thank you. All right. About uh, 10 more days went by and I finished up three of the pages of images. I wanted to give Keith a look this time at the consistency of these characters from one page to the next. Uh, it came out pretty good. And uh, this is going to be Keith's first look at these new pages in your time. Uh, I wanted to share a couple of images that I created based on what you were looking for, uh, just to see if uh, we're going in the right direction. Yep. Um, I thought I would try uh, three of the images. I went with the cover. Um, I had all four characters excited with their bags and gear to go on a trip. And then the characters pulling, putting on their gear. Okay. Yep. Having more than one character, trying to create more than one character, doing different tasks on different pages, just wasn't working on uh, ChatGPT. So what I did is I created a uh, my GPT for each individual character because yep. that that is the the best way to create a character that's going to stay or look the same when you're having it do different types of tasks. If you have uh, something like this, like Danny the deer, and let's say the lighting, okay, because you have the lighting coming at a certain angle, can you take the same image and adjust lighting? Or is that something that would be Photoshop like after the AI stuff? And I'm, there's no problem with it. I'm just curious as to how this works. Um, I could prompt it for that lighting. Uh, for the same in the other direction. For the... For the same image would be difficult, but what I would be doing is re-prompting it uh, to uh, give me as close to this image okay. as I can. Yep. So the way I would do it is create a prompt that properly describes this. So if I want to create this image again, that I have the greatest chance of, of doing that. And you can prompt. So right now you're training AI to know who Danny the Deer is on a separate sort of folder or something. Yes, yeah, so I I built my GPTs, and if I go into the edit of my GPTs, what I did is um, I explained in detail this character, so that it had all of the characteristics, and then it also had the you know the Pixar neon glow to go along with it, plus you know different types of other requests that I want in the character so that's just trying to be as consistent as possible that's great character. yeah so i did that with all four so you and... you sort of had your own little vision on like what is clothing and so because i i didn't i didn't know how and i love it i like what you did with it yeah so i uh i appreciate that you gave me some uh some of <laughs> some oh my god range. this is fantastic so if we go to let's let's go to the let's go to the cover page first. Uh. <laughs> so here's 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 the cover. Now this is what I'm doing is again I'm I'm taking uh, Flora and going with the background that you're looking for, and then overlaying the other characters. Uh, so here's Flora with the other characters behind. And then I, I just gave it a, a name so far, Flora, the Fox and friends, great ski adventure in Ellicottville, New York. Yeah. We could, we could change that all we want. So then we'll move on to. Wait, can you go four... back? Can you go back real quick? Yeah. I, sure. Can I take a pick of that? Can you get rid of the words real quick? Do you mind? Is that hard to do or no? No, I just get a, I just get on. I just want to, I got to I got to show my wife this. <laughs> Cute. Does it get easier as you're building these characters or harder? It gets easier now that I have a system in place. Um, however, what I'm learning is now I'm becoming more of a perfectionist and I'm spending more time cleaning it up. Well, it's great. When it comes to small adjustments, what I can do is I can... Uh, I can just highlight, like, let's say you wanted to put the name of a store here instead of it saying Ellicottville, or maybe it's down below where it doesn't say Ellicottville. 
And, uh, you know, we've put Keith, Keith place, right? I can make simple adjustments like that. And then uh, we, uh, we can, you know, kind of clean it up where you need a simple edit. If it's something significant, more than likely, it's not going to be able to be done, at least here. Yep. But in a couple... No, of... that's really what I was talking about. So that's that's interesting. Um, I love, too, that this background, too, it's not necessarily huge mountains. It's more representative of the area. Yeah, well, when I prompted this, I made sure it uh, was going to give me a backdrop of Ellicottville, New York. So as you can see, here's the thing is the editing is not always great, but um, what, what we can do is I'd, I'd work on this. It would take maybe a couple tries, but we would get what we would want on here. Uh, so that's really how I would approach it. It takes a little time, but we get there. It I've could... already spoke to several of the store owners there and they yeah. all want to carry it. Well, that's awesome. The next page that I'm doing here is all four characters excited with their bags and gear to go on a trip. So here we are, the the car in the background. I have a couple of different looks at this. Oh, okay. I actually like and, that. You know, some Somewhere like this one, I wanted to get the car in the background, but it's tough to, with all the characters, sometimes to get enough background um you know because there's the car right there and um you know, <laughs> trying true. to squeeze everybody in while still showing the car you know maybe i could play around with it a little bit maybe i move the problem is these guys are too big uh so anyways you see i'm, I'm just I like it though i mean to... you still see it you still see the car being packed you still you know that's that's great. That was all four characters excited with their bags. Here's the characters putting on their gear. That's great. I know what you're saying about that's <laughs> that's pretty great. I know what you're saying about them all looking at the camera. Is that is that the way it's going to be? I mean, is that just the way chat team because you're building a character? Is there or is there the ability to to adjust them? That's what I'm going to work on next is I'm going to make the more action illustrations. Uh, the way I set up the GPTs, they tend to come out this way, you know, looking at essentially the camera. Um, yep. And and what I've been playing with is uh, having having, you know, like I was working on Sally earlier and having Sally look to her left smiling you know, as if she's talking to uh, Flora or or whatever, yep. um, and and I've started playing with that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna begin that process because you know, I would I would like to have some more action shots. This is great though. This is really looking. I mean, the level of detail and it, it's fantastic. It is amazing, isn't it? It's absolutely amazing, and yeah. we have. So our new rental, we just finished it last night. We've been, it's been like three hours of sleep every night, driving back and forth four to five cool. times a week to get this rental going. And, and in the, in the downstairs, we have a room. So we, we labeled each room of the house. Okay. There's five rooms, bedrooms. And each room is a, is a ski trail from Holiday Valley. And in the basement, we have Foxfire. So we have orange and black themed. It's a, it's a black diamond over at uh, Holiday Valley. And so it's themed with foxes and things like that. So once we get locked in here, I want to take one of these images and do a print. And it's going to go in that room too. Awesome, man. That, that's cool. That is really cool. Are you sure you're, not, are you sure you're an accountant, not an illustrator? Because you're really picking up on some details here. That, and I'm a printer. I, so. I, I, I'm certainly acting like a perfectionist. I'll tell you that. But... <laughs> Um, apparently I'm an illustrator. You are kicking it. Thanks, buddy. We'll talk soon. Thanks, man. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.